the bar on the left is a one minute count. The number is in like receive its power. The bouncing bar at the top right is an indicator that the unit is working. Background radiation should be 0.05 to 0.09, which is normal in Russia and was prior to the accident in Japan, some reports of 0.05, 100 kilometers from Fukushima. Zero 09. Moving to a depression. There's glass in here, colored glass, so that might indicate radioactivity. Can't rule that out. So, where the rain puddles, we have point one four. Move it to another area. Perspective of this is the side of the building. No direct rain spout here. Dropped to 0 0.06, so no definitive increase on this area here. Sending this camera in for a service on the lens and the audio under warranty. So, you're going to a lot worse quality soon. Just for a little while, but we'll continue doing tests every week and to see if there's any increase. And back up to one, two. A third check here. Before we move on to our next spot, and concentrations of hot, hot particles would be difficult to detect, so multiple readings at least give us a ballpark. At the end of this test, we are going to go to a smoke detector and we're going to show that reading if we can. Smoke detector does trip the alarm at 0.45 if we don't get there. So 0.12 is not good in that sense. <laughs>
Now we're going to check out some rain area. And this is just the ground around a rain spout, but not near the rain spout. glitches with the battery monitoring level. And then this is a Ukraine made device I think so. It's not a super expensive radioactivity uh, meter. 0 0.03 on the ground here. That's just in a walkway. We'll take another reading right here. So that is extremely low background radiation. So particulate accumulation on the ground is not really an issue right now in Vancouver. As you can see, and I've taken lots of readings today. <clears throat> so I'm gonna give, use that as a comparison for you. But 0 0.03 is lower than what is uh, in the book as recorded as normal in Russia. If you look at the video attached here, you'll see in Japan it is up to 90 or 9.03 sieverts per hour, which is completely hazardous. So the fact that the world's not helping more with that. We have zero, so we'll do another test. So the indication would have been too low to actually get a reading there. Almost at the halfway point here. Trail chem clouds, or whatever you want to call them, sort of dissipated today. Got some blue sky. No real noticeable rain, though, for all the clouds that were up there. Unlike Vancouver's usual pattern. 0.18 here on the ground. Another test. spout area now. Zero 09. So that's a very good sign. This is a major spout on the building. I'm not sure if the audio is particles being detected, but that, this should be a higher reading now if that's the case. Okay. 
Yep, it went up. Let's go over here. To our other water spout. This is an older water spout. And we will try upstream of the spout first. been noticing that people have been posting videos and uh, I try to credit people when I take a video or grab a video to repost a mirror or whatever but others are using them on forums and uh, actually writing comments with Steve as a signature so beware of that folks anybody can claim they are you on the internet and therefore ISP numbers and that kind of thing, people might think it is you commenting. Now we're right at the spout here, right at the drain point. And point one four was up a little slope away from the drain spout, so it wasn't the flow of the drain spout. And we're checking just the surface area around the drain spout that shows rust from the pipe dissolving over the years. Now this zero is a default for an error, so we're going to have to do this again. Then we'll go down to the crack right below because we have about a minute or so left. Zero 09, regular, just above the regular background. We're going to put it in the crack here of the paving. Just about two centimeters below a lip. So enough of a catchment to collect that sand that's there. We're going to upload this video and then we're going to do soil samples and garden samples of spinach and that type of thing. Point zero 0.06. So we don't have any extreme alarms for residue in this area. Go for another reading. going to cut it on the time here so there you go those are three or more than three random samples at each location here and we're not picking up any shocking numbers so that is good news it's unfortunate that a citizen has to go out and do this